What is going on, everybody? It's Jordan Johnson, Johnson Alpha Capital. I hope you all had a great weekend. Looking forward to another profitable week in the markets. Um, today, we are going to look at some good setups. We're going to go through all the pairs in my portfolio um, and just identify some setups that we can potentially make money on this week. Um, first and foremost, a little shameless plug. If you do not already, um, if you're not already involved in the Telegram group, I mean, it's 100% free. Be sure you join. Um, it's over 480 people. I'm here right now, Million Dollar Visions Telegram group. Um, I am in so control of this group, so um, it's not, you know, one of them channels where you in. It's a lot of people posting stuff, and it just gets messy. Um, I post a lot of my, I post a lot of trade setups, a lot of my wins, losses. Um, you know, just everything that I think can make you become a consistently profitable trader. Um, you know, just everything. I don't just post wins. I post losses as well. A lot of tips, strategies, setups, everything, you name it is in here. So be sure that you do join. Again, it is 100% free. It will help you. Um, follow the Facebook page, Johnson Alpha Capital, Jordan Forex Trader, just so that you can stay updated, you know, just with all my analysis, tips, strategies. Um, let's dive into the markets, you all. As always, let's start with the dollar index. Let's go ahead and delete everything. Um, let's start on a let's start on a little bit of a daily time frame. Um, let's post it. We can even really start weekly and just see what we see here. So weekly time frame, this whole, you know, it's, I would say since about September 18, this move up in the dollar, um, it's been very choppy. It's not, it's not too impulsive. Um, if I had to, you know, identify this, I would say it's probably somewhat of an ending diagonal. Um, but, you know, that's not important. We do have this nice evening star candlestick reversal pattern. Um, this right here is called an evening star candle. Um, a evening star candlestick formation, which is a bearish uh, reverse formation. We did just have that on the day, on the weekly. Um, you can see the my, um, my MAs are starting to cross here. Let's jump down to the daily time frame. Um, daily time frame. You can see we did, I mean, it was a bearish week last week in the dollar um, with NFP being on Friday. Um, we did get a nice bullish reaction. Um, so a few things I want to point out. I'm going to point out some daily levels here. Um, let's get a horizontal ray. Let's just identify some levels. Let's identify this point here. Um, this is going to be a strong area of support. I do like that. Um, structure leaves clues. I want to come over here and eh, see. We'll probably just put it right here. This is going to act as a, well, I like, let's put an area. Let's put an actual area here for a area of resistance. We can call this our supply zone. Um, this is a supply zone. Um, this is going to be, I would like us to probably come down and break this area of support as well boom now we got some levels on the chart let's jump down to a four hour time frame let's look and see what we have here so for those of you that don't know um of course i am a technical trader um trade everything technical from harmonics market geometry basic support and resistance of what you've seen here um some fibonacci fibonacci retracements extensions love fibonacci um, but mainly, you all, I am an Elliottitian, which means I do trade with the principles of the Elliott Wave Theory. Um, so I look at this move down on the dollar as being impulsive. This is an impulsive move to me. Let's draw some Fibonacci. We're going to start from high. We're going to go to the low. Right there. Let's put the 50, take off the 78.6. Boom. Hit this 50, kind of double topped at it. We got a nice break down. Um, Reapproaching this zone. We can get a little bit. Let's draw some more fibs, probably from this low here. Probably not quite at the 50. We're not quite at the 50. Let's put the 38.2 on. Um, 
just put on put some levels here, you all. Uh, so with this being said, um, with this big move here, this is a few things that we might be able to anticipate this week on the dollar. Might help watch and see this, you know, see if we get a sideways drop down and if we go back up to come back down. I'm long term view on the dollar is bearish as of right now. Um, I see if we just get something like that, then attack the lows. Um, kind of really just got to wait and see exactly what we do get. Long term view on the dollar is bearish. Okay, did on this hourly time frame. You don't really see nothing there. It's not. It's not a lot here. So this is something to where you know that's why you need to be in the Telegram group. You need to be plugged in because I will send out updates as I see more clear trade setups happening. I don't see an amazing trade setup. Just looking at the dollar right now. Um, let's move on to gold. Let's do it. Let's start on the weekly with gold as well. So gold, um, gold, we are contained within parallel lines here. Um, I had this labeled as a had a good trade on gold last week too. Had this WXY setup happening, intermediate wave. Let's go look at some ideas. Do do do. This was a buy setup that I published on the third. It was a very very good setup, you all. Um, I, I did good on this trade. Boom, price went up, and then what? We had a big sell off. Um, you know, I was anticipating that sell off and go. Um, look for her. What did it say? Look for a sell off. Boom. I can't make this up. Let's look at this again. Two setups. One published on December 3rd, one published on December 4th. I cannot make this up. Perfect setup. Looking for this move up. Boom. December 4th. I said, let's look for this sale setup. Boom. Beautiful. I cannot make this up. Um, now that we did have that setup, beautiful, beautiful setup, by the way. Beautiful setup, by the way, on the weekly. Um, we are touching this. Um, this um, MA is acting as support. Let's go to the daily time frame. Daily time frame. This is kind of how I'm looking at this right now. We got this ABC. Um, some something in me tells me I believe this is going to go back up one more time. So let's look at this. Let's look at this trend line here. This trend line is going to act as support. So wait to see if we break. This is a good level that we need to watch. This is a real good area to see if this area of demand holds strong. I should go to one hour time frame. I can kind of we can count this on an intraday time frame. Cause you all I could count five ways up. I can count five ways up and I can also count A B C. That's why like if we go to the Telegram group. I was sending this out to the Telegram group on go right before it dropped. Um, this WXY setup, A, B, C, D, E triangle, and boom, look at that. This is why you need to be in the group, you all. Um, so, I am actually, I wouldn't be surprised if we have a nice bullish move up and go one more time you know so that's what i'm looking for in gold this week i will i'm um, just coming into the week i'm looking for this setup this bullish move up maybe even go to create some new highs before we ultimately go back down um just something to look for you all 
Look at oil. Oil is continuing. Let's just look at it on weekly. Very possible oil can be pointing up one more time. See, I look at this as one, two, three down, one, two, three B. It's, it's hard to make this count. I don't want to force a count on oil. It could be forming a triangle, you all honestly. We could be forming a triangle on oil just to go back up. Looks like we're probably at the 78. Probably at the 78. This is the level I'll be paying attention to on oil. We might go up to retest that level before we drop down. Um, you know, we might already be starting that drop down in oil. Something to Something to pay attention to. I, I don't see a clear set a trade setup, you all, so I can't tell you I do. Um, but just looking at the pattern, I believe we could be forming a triangle on oil. So just stay up to date with this, see how this forms, um, and I will update you all with the say trade setups. US 30 gave a great back setup last week. I don't see nothing on it now. Let's look at dollar here. Dollar in weekly time frame, 200 is holding as great. Um, the 200 is actually holding as a great level of resistance. We can probably draw a trend line here to here. We had a um, bearish engulfing pattern last week. Daily time frame, this probably was a, some divergence in here. No, no real divergence. Um, to for me to get incredibly bullish on this dollar yen, I would love to see a break beneath this level. See a four hour time frame. Um, it's showing everything um that I would probably want to see in a potential nice bearish setup. We just have to get it. Like we already broke that trend line. Um, yeah, we just need to wait. Let me see if I was to count this out on a hourly intraday time frame. One, two, three. I can count five ways down. We'll probably. I mean, it's possible for us to see price come retest and then drop. That is a possibility. Um, but I will be probably bearish on dollar yen, dollar Swiss. Just coming into this week. Let's look at these levels. That's a, I mean, that's a, that's a low structure. But probably focus on this. Um, focus on this ABC pattern that we have in here. Right at the 78.6. That's actually a Gartley pattern for those of you that do trade harmonics. But that's not what I wanted. Where's the triangle? Oh, I don't like using the harmonic pattern, it kind of makes my charts a lot sloppy.
All right, that is a completed burst guard leaf for those of you that do trade harmonics. Hero USD. This is a nice sell off. Um, you know, I mean, I, I could count this. Most of your dollar pairs are going to be the same. I can easily count this as a five wave move up with an extended, expanded flat correction. We really just got to see how this develops. We just got to see how this develops. That's probably a touch my 50. This is just how I quickly go through charts you watch. Just kind of my thought process behind everything, the technical skill set that I do use. I don't really see nothing on Canada. Pound, great setup on Pound last week I gave out to you all. Look at this, um, on the daily time for my publish this on December 1, about over 200 pips, boom, straight off. That was a beautiful trade. Um, no real trace of happening right now, no pound. Ozzy, I like Ozzy. I do like Ozzy. I, I was looking at this last week at the ABC. Um, we got the... We gonna go up. No, I'm probably gonna go up in this. Probably retest that half 69.301. We can delete that. I'm gonna look at this ABC down, one up, one, two, three, down again. Pop up. Pound New Zealand. Um, don't see any crazy setups. Pound Yen. Oh, not that shit. It might be it, you all. I didn't see a lot of majors setting up um, very well as of this time. Um, let's see what Euro Swiss is giving us. Uh -oh. Euro Yeah, I think that's going to be about it, you all. Um, hopefully you was able to, um, pick up some type of nuggets. I uh, get some type of setups going to this week. Um, it's not, you know, it's not a lot of them out there right now. So, um, what that means is the setups will probably start to form and play their stuff out on like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, that's why you need to be in the Telegram group, follow the Facebook page so that you can get alerted for these setups. Um, again, you all, I show, you know, wins, losses. I try to be as transparent as possible with you all. I don't want to mislead anybody on how great, magnificent of a trader I am. So that's why if you're in this telegram, you see um, I post, you know, wins and losses. I don't just post my wins. I post losses, too. Um, they're here somewhere. When I, when I do have them, I do post them. Um, you know, so just be sure you join you all. Here goes some right here. Uh, uh, it looks like they're always, but I do. I promise you, I do post um, losses too as they come. Um, so um, hopefully, y'all enjoyed this video. If you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe to the channel. If you do love the content, please share it with other traders. Um, it's all about helping people become consistently profitable. Um, so I hope you all have a great trading week.